I would like to start this video with an update on Shock's lawsuit threats. You want to fuck with me? You think you know bad, huh? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me! A choir boy! Apparently, his legal threats are more worthless than his balls. Not that anyone didn't know that. As you will be able to hear from the following clip, Shock has changed his tune. Coincidentally, after I made a video calling him out on his faux legal threats. He is no longer claiming that he is suing me. Instead, now he is saying that GVO, the company that hosts his chat room, is suing me. It's GVO that's, that's suing them. Because um, I contacted GVO and they asked me to do some things which I can't really, I'm trying to keep confidential out of respect to them. But um, they don't have a problem with me. I'm just a sweet, lovable, huggable Christian. They have a problem with GVO because it's, it's a company. They're not hacking into my system. They're hacking into a company's system. So ASD, you got to contact GVO, man. I, I'm, not, I'm not GVO. All the trolls are scared. I guess they're being sued. <laughs> so now they're all coming in here begging me to do something. Now they want Uncle Shock to help them. I can't help you guys. It's out of my hands. Contact GVO and maybe contact their legal department. Maybe you can settle out of court. I contacted GVO to see if any of this was true. Remember, Shock's original lawsuit threats were because someone supposedly hacked his chat room. The message from GVO's people states, Please forward any communication from this person with regard to this issue. We take legal matters seriously as well. Our rooms cannot be hacked. Please explain why this person may be contacting you with these allegations. Regards, Blake C. After playing L.A. Noir, I released my inner detective and did a little investigating and talked to some of the people who frequent the chat room. Apparently, this hack was all Shock's fault and was not a hack at all. Being an idiot, Shock gives moderator powers to almost anyone who is a Christian, probably because he is all alone in Shock of God world. Shock fell victim to a Poe, which is someone posing to be a Christian and gave them moderator status. The Poe then proceeded to ban and kick all the other mods. There was no hack. So, what does Shock do? He pulls the victimized Christian card. This serves two purposes. It keeps him from looking like an idiot for falling for a Poe, and he also gets the attention he wants for being attacked by the evil atheists. Thanks to a couple of my videos about Shock, I have recently received a great amount of information that has shown that not only is Shock of God an asshole, but he is a bigoted monster who has a deep-seated hatred for homosexuals and condones and threatens violence against them. It's not incredibly surprising that Shock of God would display this behavior if you know anything about his Alliance of Christ, which is full of wonderful members, including God, Guns, Guts, Glory 777, also known as 4G, who is a known hater of gays and has on many occasions talked about, quote, killing fags. And in a private message sent from 4G to YouTube user Aiden0128, he says some pretty heinous things, including condoning the killing of homosexuals. In his message, 4G says, There is no problem with a Christian terminating any filthy person who endangers his family. That includes any filthy fag who comes into the school to indoctrinate my children. Thanks to some people who have been delving into Shock's history, I, like Chris Hansen, have the transcripts of segments of Shock's past. See, I've got the transcript right here. And some of these things are incredibly startling. Some may even say, Shocking. If Shock had his way, the Statue of Liberty would look something like this. The links to all of the transcripts that have been made available to me are down in the description, but I thought I would give you all a little preview from his conversations with YouTube user Not So Old Hippie. If a homosexual ever came on to me, I would thoroughly have the right to kick his perverse ass, and I would. And later in the same conversation, Shock goes on to state, Like I have said again, and thank you for giving me another chance to spread my wrath against the perverse homosexuals who are bringing the morality of our country down. If a homosexual ever, ever tried to scam on me or one of my friends, we would have the right under the law to thoroughly kick his ass. No homosexual better lay a hand on a crusader. I'll beat him upside the head with my Bible. Ah ha ha ha. Being a skeptic, I was very wary of the sources I receive, especially on the internet. 
However, the other transcripts of the information from Shock's bulletin board system, also known as a BBS, have demonstrated to me that it is a reliable source. By following this link on the description, you can see part of the things that were posted on his BBS, including this entire page dedicated to posting words and messages of praise from people whose eyes he has opened, just like he does in his videos nowadays. And I've had four people, four people just recently this week leave atheism and become Christians. Here's a guy, and here's another one. This person here says, funny story about the madness of atheism. To further verify the authenticity of this source, I was also given a zip file known as America.zip, which Shock tried to post everywhere when he was first starting his bulletin board system. You can find a link to download a copy of America.zip in the description below. In America.zip, Shock talks about his time working as a volunteer at a suicide prevention center and as a real estate agent, which he has been known as claiming in the past. In America.zip, Shock talks about some of his beliefs, including his archaic views on homosexuality, as well as talking about how he believes the New World Order is coming, and how everyone will be forced to use a microchip, and he advises whoever reads the file to buy weapons in order to overthrow the government. This is by far the video that I have put the most work into. It has taken days to complete. I would like to thank YouTube users Not So Old Hippie and Optimal Ridge who have helped me gather this information and to put the information together respectively. I would appreciate if you were to mirror this video, as I fear that it may get flagged by Shock and his buddies. Thank you all for your time.